five fish on all next up elite angler 88 boat 87 mr kelly power coming on through here fishing out of a charger wave at your facebook fans go get them jeff 84 lead angler gary martin fishing out of the nitro go get them gary appreciate you Boat 83, Mr. Mike Hamilton, fishing out of a nitro, Mr. Pro's Choice. Go get him, wild man. Thank you. Great service. Thank you. So we're going to pick up right where we left off. You know, the previous day I had some big ones on a swim bait and a crankbait. I decided to start this morning off throwing a crankbait covering water using the low light to my advantage. As you can see I'm revisiting some of the banks that I caught them on. This is the bank where I lost that big one the previous day. Uh, just kind of seeing if there's some more big fish up in the area. Using it to my advantage to cover water. Keeping that low light at an advantage on this lake is very important because the water's clear. And uh, if at any time I was going to catch a big one, I felt like it was in the morning. That was part of my strategy to go practice. And then start transitioning to these bluff ends, chasing the live scope fish. It's definitely a different feel to today already. It was shorty, but they'll eat I it. I burned a little bit of time trying to get those like uh, crankbait fish and other fish like that to fire. And I decided after a while to just start, you know, Running the pattern that got me here. But he's not a keeper. It like comes in the frame all the time at the last minute. Everything he does, bro. It makes no sense to me. Feels like a mag. Stay pinned, baby. Oh my. Yes. That's a keeper for sure. That's one of the magnums. <laughs> somebody. He broke somebody off on a drop shot. Yes, sir. Now we're back running that bluff end pattern to the fullest. Uh, you know, I know that this pattern isn't the winning pattern, but I'm trying to fill my limit because I've already felt like that I've been chasing the big bites for a while and it just wasn't happening this morning. And I think even here I say that it's different and the fish are committing a little better, but I'm not getting the bites in the numbers that I was the previous day as I'm hooked up right here. fish for him, man. The only difference I'll say between them today, they actually seem to be hitting it pretty hard. But we'll see. So right here, I've been chasing the same fish around on this bluff end. 
playing cat and mouse with them on active target for a while and uh, if you've fished with forward facing sonar you know certain fish have certain personalities where they just all don't commit I think there's this false mindset that we cast out there and that it's easy and though I'm not like a super hardcore advocate for a forward facing sonar I will say this it's not easy I gave up on that fish and the next thing I know I'm reeling and he's on there and it's a good spot one yes. I really need. That's a good one right there. At this there. point now I got I three fish. I believe I caught his butt. And I'm feeling That's like a good I can one take right a couple gambles. And what I mean by gambling is trying to run that pattern that I was running the previous day when I caught the big large mouth in the back of the pockets. Now I am paying attention to the skies are high and bright. I don't think the swim bait bite is prevalent. But what I am doing is I'm taking the dirt jig and I'm fishing it at, you know, blow downs, lay downs, anything that I think I can get a big bite off of and still be efficient just covering water I'm looking for it so I didn't really feel like that the lack of trying was there I gave it all I could give in this tournament I know what I'm up against these guys are the real deal I mean I'm not paying attention to who's around me because at the end of the day I have to fish for five fish and catch my five but listen the pressure's on there we go baby Heck yeah. You know, we're coming down to the last few stretches of the day, and uh, I'm running around. This is probably the 15th spot. <laughs> I wish I could show you all of the places that I'm running to, but man, if I did that, we would have a full eight hour day of recording and bass fishing with hardly any catches. Uh, so, right here, I'm not like in the last 20 to 30 minutes of my deal i still have an hour left but i'm moving around and i'm trying my best to be efficient and looking for that fifth keeper and uh sometimes you just got to stick with it and take what the day gives you and that's what we did here Jesus. Michael Hamilton coming up here. What boat number are you, sir? Boat 83. How many fish you got here, bud? Got five. Here we go. Did you have fun today? I had a lot of fun. I had to work for them, though. Had to work. I'm proud of them. Well, you got 997 right there. Let's grab We got a little bit of time. You want to grab a picture? All right. What a beautiful fish right there. All right. Just stand right up there. Smile at your Facebook fans. Thank you. All right. Mike, I told you I was going to drill you today. I sure did. And everything. So 
Who would you like to thank and what was your magic this weekend? First and foremost, I'd like to thank God for waking us all up this morning and that wonderful uh, message that you gave this morning. Thank that you. Was, that was beautiful. I'd like to thank my wife who is pregnant right now. Oh my! It's allowing me to do this. Trust me, I know it's a grind and I got to hurry up and get my butt back because we're going on a cruise. Oh! So, and sponsors-wise, I would like to thank Apex Capital.